Is it time to say goodbye? Dry your eyes. We have been together so long. Is it time to let go? Apart we grow. So. To go on living, I need to try things and be on my own. We'll always be friends, go keep our distance. We'll be together from afar forever. Listen, listen.
five foot something freshman year. When I got there, they gave me this big old saxophone, the baritone saxophone. People would always tell me, hey, you look so weird with that big thing. And I'm like, what do you mean? And then I finally saw pictures of myself in last year. Yeah, they were right. And here I am in this wide brim sun hat. It's flopping around. And this barrier that comes up the top reaching my forehead because it, it sticks up a bit above the uh, mouthpiece. Going all the way to the ground, maybe like a foot off the ground, maybe even less. And oh my gosh, yeah, I did not look. I did not look. The, it looked pretty dumb. It, it was hilarious when I came to this realization. I, I tell it all the time because I'm not the tallest person, nor was I ever. Yeah, that was definitely my favorite band memory, was figuring that out. My favorite band memory would be when we went to our first competition. Do, do I keep the <laughs> Okay, quit. My favorite band experience has got to be when we went to competition my sophomore year, so two years ago. We went to competition, and in the middle of competition, I was standing at the concession stand, and Sweet, um, Sweet Caroline comes on the loudspeaker, and everyone just stops dead silent, and everyone starts singing. It was great. My favorite band memory would have to be just like, the amount of friends that I've made throughout my four years of doing this activity. My favorite band memory? Probably maybe my freshman year when a bunch of us got in the bed of Timmy's truck and we drove down, like pretty much every single day of band camp, drove down to the uh, practice field during band camp. It was just fun. That's a pretty good one. There's, there's obviously more, but that's the one I can think of top of my head. Advice I would give to future band kids is to embrace the chaos that we have. Because it's one big family and families, there's always something chaotic about it. There's always crazy, but it's, always, it's still a family and it's just an amazing atmosphere. And it may seem crazy and chaotic from the outside, but once you get into it, you see the method, you know, there's always a method to the chaos, and I just love it. So okay. that's the advice I would give. I would tell them not to be afraid of coming in here and be intimidated by all the other kids because, like, we're all welcoming to everyone. It doesn't matter if you come from a weaker background. We're all going to help you get to where you need to go. Okay. Yes. <laughs> advice to give to future band kids. Get through band camp. I know it's a drag, I know it's a grind, but getting through band camp is the best thing that will ever happen to you. And as long as you can get through that, you will be good to be set, good to go and set for the rest of the season. And always have fun. Uh, advice I'd give to future band kids would to be never to give up and always do your best. And if advice I'd give is definitely don't quit. And, and there's gonna be times where you want to, um, at least for me, there's definitely times I wanted to just to quit band, but it's just the, the times where you want to quit and the times you're having fun is just like one out of ten. Like you want the one time, if you just have that quit moment compared to the ten fun notes, it's just not worth not worth it. And you see the progression from beginning to end, pretty much of how mature and well you played because you stayed. And the band